What up, this your boy Boss. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be adding some more fish to some of these display tanks down here in the fish room. I already have these fish in stock, but the tank that they are currently in, I'm going to be doing something different with this aquarium. So I need to move some of these fish around and it's going to spice some of these tanks up. We'll probably add some plants as well and do some different things. So stick around, hit that like button. Let's get into it. So let me show you the fish that we're going to be adding to the tanks down here in the aisle. They are currently back here in my 120 gallon aquarium. You can see these guys right here looking good. Now the fish that we're gonna move out of here are these angel fish. So we got this nice platinum angel right here. Really nice, beautiful white platinum angel. We also got this nice diamond angel right here. Really beautiful fish. Then we got these flag festums in here as well. Then we got this nice big black angel. The reason I'm moving these guys out of here is because we do have a nice dwarf pike in here, African dwarf pike. We also have some endless sherry bichers in here and these are the smaller guy. I think the bigger one somewhere in the back but yeah there you go back there. But these guys are super aggressive eaters along with the heck alive. They are really aggressive eaters so I feel like the angels and the flag festums are not getting uh, the amount of food that I would like them to, so I want to move them out of here. I do have a few plants in here that I am going to take out, like a nice little sword over here, a couple of crisp manubias. We're going to take some of these plants out of here as well. Got a whole other idea with this aquarium um, that incorporate a little bit of a bigger, more predator fish. So I probably am going to go ahead and move the flag festums over to that tank right there with the Nicaraguans, and then the angels will probably scatter throughout the fish room. So let me catch these guys out of here and we'll see where we put them. Now that we got the fish out, we can start adding them to their new tanks. Also got some nice Anubia side of those aquariums as well, and a nice little Amazon sword. So the first tank we're gonna be adding fish to is this one right here. This is the 45 gallon tall with our Nicaraguan cichlids. Hoping by adding these flag festums to here, we can get them to come out a little bit more. And also I'm gonna be adding a ton of tetras or probably like an ember tetras or emperor tetras to this aquarium just to bring some dither fish into here but let's add in the flag festivals now and kind of see how it looks from here i wish i can put plants with these nicaraguans because these flag festivals can do plants um, but these nicaraguans want to eat plants so they kind of got to be more in this like biotope style tank fake little um, wood kind of streaming through here we got a couple little pebble like river rock stones in here and uh, I think it's gonna look really good once I bring this tank fully together still in this early process so let's add the first two flag festums now I know they're going to enjoy this tank as well because they like to kind of like graze and hover between like wood and plants and stuff so I know they're going to like this tank as well All right, let's add these last two in here they are already out looking for new little places to hide. We're gonna let these guys settle in. We'll keep moving on and come back later on and see how they doing. All right, so over here to the electric blue car tank, we only got two of these guys in here. I moved the other two over to this tank right here. Um, these are the two that lay eggs for me like a week ago and they ate them. So I wanna see if I can get them to spawn without being in this tank because there was just a lot going on. But the female is being super mean to the male right now. So I don't know, I threw some dither fish in here like some guppies just to kind of get her attention off of him. We'll see how things balance out. But I wanna add some plants to this tank. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this Nubius in here and some of these crypts in the background a little bit more. Um, and then we'll add the fish. Add in the first fish, and this is this big black angel. I think he's gonna look great in this tank. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he just scared the electric blue cars. Now we're gonna add this koi one. I think it's like a koi angel, I guess. Not 100% sure. Let's add him in over here. He should bring some more nice oranges to this tank as well. Oh yeah, he looks good. Come on, let's blue cars. You got another friend over here. Come look at him. Now this last angel right here, this is a, I call him a 
a low grade autumn angel he has the finish but it's not there's another name for him maybe in the comments that you guys can let me know um but nice little angel right there i've had him for a little bit and he's just a nice little cool color so that's what's going on in this tank i still along with the other tanks i am going to add like a bunch of some type of swimming tetra in here some type of dither fish because right now it's just like open um, so maybe give me some suggestions down below what you think would be dope in this tank as like a schooling fish or shoaling fish uh, let me know in the comment section because i am going to be buying something cool for this tank so let me know now to the last and final tank this tank is really starting to become one of my favorites down here in the fish room and i've raised these guys up from nothing from pups and they just so colorful and so beautiful and then with the orange of the sword tails i think it's just great still got a while into it all the plants really growing because i don't run co2 or nothing like that i do like dose the plants every now and then but i'm not like going crazy i'm just letting nature do its thing so i'm going to be adding in a nice little amazon sword i got this nice big anubius in here and i think i got a few more crypts i can add over here to my crypt garden so gonna get to it All the fish have been moved. I didn't get a chance to record the platinum going in because my camera had died. Um, but I got some more work to do. We're gonna let these guys chill out for a little bit, let them get adjusted. But I got some work to do. I need to strip an African cichla female. So I want to show you guys that in the process. And then we'll come back, give you an update on everybody that's been moved to the new tanks. And then maybe I'll end this video off with a little bit of feeding. So just stick around. So the female that we're gonna be stripping comes from this male right here. I think it's like a red Eureka Peacock. Uh, been getting a lot of babies from them. I already got some growing out, but we got the female down here in this little breeder net and she already spit a couple of them when I caught her. Did it off camera to be a lot easier. But let's go ahead and strip her on camera so you guys can see. And there's multiple ways of doing this. Uh, when I'm filming, it's just a lot easier for me to do it the way that I'm finna do it right here. So I just squeeze her and there you go. Look at all those babies coming out. Quite a few. And I try not to stress her out too much. Make sure she got them all out. And you really just kind of hold them really gentle and you kind of just squeeze the side of her mouth. Oh, there another one just popped out. Now here you can see another female is holding right here. You can see her mouth isn't very big just yet. So she is not really ready to go. So probably another two weeks she'll be ready to go. Now that we got all the babies in here, we'll just raise them up in here for maybe like a couple weeks, maybe a week or two. Let them get nice and fat, and then I'll move them with their brothers and sisters because I already have some that are quite bigger with them, so I don't want to put these guys together just yet. It's been a few hours since we added the fish in. I'm gonna go through and give you guys a little update on the tanks and also show you guys some other tanks as well. We got our tuxedo orange swordtail tank. This tank is going bananas right now. You can see how much horn work has been grown in here. It's absolutely insane. And now I'm getting a lot of babies being born in here. First, I would have to take the females out and kind of let them give birth in a different tank. Now I got so much plants that I'm able to just leave the fish in here. So we getting a lot of babies in here. Also added tons of more shrimp. So there's like literally just shrimp everywhere. Just all different colors, all different sizes, baby fish everywhere. It's just a lot going on in this tank. And there's still about 10 corridors in here as well. You can kind of see one hanging out right there. But this tank is doing good. Just put some food in here. Uh, so these guys can come out and eat. And there's big fat mama. I got a really big one in there, but she's hiding back there behind the rocks. Maybe we'll catch her in another video, but this tank is doing crazy. Let's take a look at the Congo Tetras with their new buddies. Seem like they started to settle in really good. I just put some food in here, so everybody is super active. We'll put some more so you guys can see them all eat. Throw a little bit of flake food. And the angels are already coming up trying to eat, so that's a good sign. 
Now these fish are also aggressive eaters, but you see how they just picking at it and it's still going everywhere, still gives the chance for the angels to get food in here. So I think it's gonna work out just fine. Um, I think it's gonna look really good. These boys is looking amazing in here though. It's just beautiful. And those Congo Tetras, just what's understood, don't need to be explained. Even the sword tails looking dope. Let's feed this tank while we're here too. This tank is looking really good right now. I was gonna add um, the angels into this aquarium, but there's a lot of Tetras in here. And these guys are like mean and nasty. It's these little lemon Tetras right here. I'll be seeing them chasing everybody around here. So they, I'm like, oh, they might nip at their fins. So I'm not gonna put them in here, but we still need to find like a nice little showpiece type fish for this aquarium. Now over here with the electric blue cars, these guys are looking amazing in here. As you can see, they already eat. That's always a beautiful, beautiful sign. Now over here at the Nicaraguan tank, you can see these guys are out and active. Look how beautiful this one is right here. Black festivals is doing exactly what I thought they would do. We'll would just kind of hover and hang out at the top. You can see this one right here looking good. But these Nicaraguans are amazing. Just beautiful. So yeah, you guys can let me know in the comment section, did we take a W down here in the fish room today? Because I definitely think we did. Let me know. We added a few new fish to a couple different tanks. Everybody is out eating, enjoying themselves, and doing what they need to do. So hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notifications, and be notified when I drop more videos. I'm out of here. Catch you guys in the next one.